Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about the concept of spirituality according to Michel Foucault. My name is Rodrigo Guim, an anthropologist and social critic, and this is Critique with Nietzsche and Foucault. So today we're going to talk about the concept of spirituality that Michel Foucault develops in the course The Hermeneutics of the Subject. Foucault uses the term spirituality to refer to a number of different practices in Western history and culture. And one of those great changes he notices is that of the care of the self from the ancient Greeks and Romans to the know yourself of Christianity and modern philosophy that will increasingly create subjects who understand themselves as having a truth located within their interiority. For the ancients, the subject could only reach the truth of oneself, the truth of his soul, which is how they thought about subjectivity, if they practiced different spiritual exercises and these exercises were part of caring of the self. They had to make changes in themselves in order to have access to the truth about themselves. Foucault says that spirituality is the search, practice and experience through which the subject carries out the necessary transformations on himself in order to have access to the truth." End of citation. So you see that in this ancient care of the self, this ancient practice, it is precisely through varied exercises such as trials, self-examinations, notes about oneself, meditations, regimens, many different practices depending on the philosopher and the times that we are talking about, which were recommended by doctors and by philosophers of those times as masters of the care of the self that they were. The soul was the main object of concern and to take care of the soul, it was necessary to take care of the body as well. The two were intertwined. And for the subject, to take care of his soul, it was necessary for him to undergo modifications, to undergo transformations, which would make him another of himself. This path towards perfecting the soul changed the subject in the process. Foucault says that we moved from this culture where there was a care of the self, a practice of the self that was about occupying oneself with oneself uh, in order to have an increasingly perfected soul and through a lot of work to reach that plenitude of the soul to uh, and we moved to another culture to a culture where there was an unchanging truth of the soul in this new cultural form knowing yourself will according to Foucault discredit the ancient care of the self. It is a series of very different practices that come up where the subject will seek not to change anymore, not to transform, but to know oneself. Knowledge, whether philosophical, scientific or religious, will become sufficient for the subject because knowledge will talk about the truth of the subject without the subject having to change himself because his truth is only one with knowledge. Knowledge is the path and is the very substance of the subject's own being. Says Foucault, citation. I think the modern age of the history of truth begins when knowledge itself and knowledge alone gives access to the truth. That is to say, it is when the philosopher 
or the sage or the scientist or simply someone who seeks the truth can recognize the truth and have access to it in himself and solely through his activity of knowing without anything else being demanded of him and without him having to change or alter his being as subject. End of citation. There you have a certain democratization of the truth happening, of access to the truth in this culture. But of course, even up to today, we still have the institutional models for legitimizing or delegitimizing truths. We have the dominant discourses about truth and the subjects that are considered to be more or less capable of truth discourses. But access to the truth now no longer requires spirituality, no longer requires the subject to work on himself and for that subject to change in the process. Now all the subject needs to do to have access to the truth is to know, is to have access to knowledge. And if the subject doesn't have the knowledge, all he needs to do is to search for it or discover it. The subject was placed in the same order as that of history, as a work in progress whose essence is demonstrated in and through knowledge. But now knowledge can no longer save the subject, says Foucault, as it could in ancient philosophy. The subject will no longer be the one who has a changing spirituality. He will be the one who recognizes himself in the truth that he is always, always from the same place. The modern subject is the subject of truth that never leaves the interior of being. Foucault, in a way, instigates us to think of our subjectivity again as a spirituality where becoming other than what we are today may again be possible and why not also doable. Well, people, that's all for today. I really want to thank my supporters on Patreon that make this channel possible and also they have access to other online courses with me. Thank you all and see you again next week.